Okay, so um, I want to clear the air on some things. Okay, so all right, guys. So today, no war, no fight. I just want to clear the air on some things. Right? And um, it has to do with um, Paolo Fano. And I saw the press um, release of um, our elders from Tampa. And my name was mentioned. All right, so um, first of all, I wouldn't want to say me Agbalagban Paro. So that's why I didn't want to say anything. I saw his video where he said he called me and I was kind of rude to him. I wasn't rude to him. The only thing that he said when he called me was he wants me not to reply Yomi Fabi. And I said, no, I will reply Yomi Fabi. If he says anything wrong, that I would reply him. I shouldn't be the one keeping quiet for Yomi Fabi because um, initially I didn't want to pick up a fight with him. But you can come on social media and come to my WhatsApp, say something, come on social media and say something and expect me to keep quiet. And moreover, it's not about Yomi Fabi and it's not about me. It's about that young girl, that 14 years old girl. It has nothing to do, but I will not keep quiet for Yomi Fabi. And he said, he doesn't want me to say anything again about uh, Baba Jisha's case. And I said, sir, maybe that's what got him upset, or maybe in that way, you think, maybe I sounded rude by saying, but daddy toba jo moyinko shemani kendakeni. And he said, ah, ah, ah. And he kept quiet for a while. And he now said, Okay, oh, mommy, get get me baba, mumpala shefwe. And I went mute. I kept quiet on the phone. And the phone went off. And I just left it there. So I was shocked when he said, I said, he should get down from the boss or get I don't even speak like that. I've never even said anything like that. That will never even cross my mind. And then he said I talked about them. Um, not how well or, or not how far. I don't know where he got all that from. But me and him never had that kind of conversation. So I was so shocked when I saw that video, but I can't argue or fight with him. So, uh, Papa T, I feel offended by the way I, because I know the only thing Timo saw, whatever I said was that, and the fact that he said I shouldn't say anything again, and I said, no, I refused. So, we are alone being, you know, sir, Emma Bino. But I never caught the phone on you, and I never said, hey, step down, I never said that. No. You know? So, that's that. Then, um, on the Tampa issue. Now, the reason why I, the reason why I kept mentioning Tampa and mentioning the group was because a lot of of my elders some of you called me and was like ah carry your mommy in koti baba jesha shiuda carry our lenye and ile jade sita and to be taba jade sita show mwani ya kine kon kine kon but carry carry your mommy some of you did that and this same some of you went on location and was talking bad about me now Emma Dabikbe, Eminonche Productions, and I have all my crew members scattered, Kakiri, Nimbubu locations, and I have some people who have worked with me who are still loyal to me. Because I was never bad to any of my crew members, until tomorrow I'm never bad to them. So most times when they say anything on location about me, Umang Pada Bo, Umang Pada Sofumi, Lagbajaba is so bye. Dubai so by and I'm like oh really 
Like, a lot of people I did not even expect in the Yoruba industry said a lot of things. But when they see me, they say something else. And then behind my back, they say something else. You know? And I heard, could a possible Kimbo Kinuma be me? So Mukuku call everybody back up. You understand? And I stood alone. I said, yes, I was a member of Odunfa Kakos. Yes, I joined ANTP on that Odunfa Kakos. Yes, I was a member of ANT, um, ANTP. But when, they, when ANTP um, broke off and they um, created Tampa, I never joined the association. I paid my dues because I have so much respect and love for my Oga, Alaji Nika Kodri, and Alaji Avilanri. Because of both of them, I paid all the money I was asked to pay, but I never went for any meeting. Even though some of my colleagues tried to, you know, convince me that the association has changed, now you have a voice, I was not interested and I just didn't join. Not that, not for anything, but I just didn't want to, you know, because I have my own reservations why I did not. Because I just felt I was just too blunt and if I join and I want to speak, I probably might hurt a lot of people, maybe with the way I was going to um, deliver my own um, words, you know, or uh, view my own opinion or stuff. So I just didn't want to go through all that stress and drama and I pulled back and I stayed on my own and did my own thing, you know. But yes, same people who left um, ANTP are also the same people in Tampa which is understandable. But if there's a problem with the way I'm supporting that 14 years old girl and princess, and you people don't like it because you feel um, Baba Jesha is one of your own, princess is also one of your own. That little girl is princess daughter. She's also, she also needs someone that would support her and have a voice for her. She's 14 years. She's not a member of ANTP. She's not a member of Tampa. She's a young girl, a 14 years old girl that was in her own home when the incident happened. Not like she came on location because I heard some things that pap uh, Papa said that I was like, really, you know? So, I mean, at the end of the day, <sighs> I stand with that girl because I can relate with her. And I don't care what anybody feels or think about, you know, me standing with the girl. It was on that same set, on that same location, a lot of you were saying a lot of things. Even some young, um, I won't call them colleagues, young Yoruba um, actors went on their page bashing me, releasing video, saying a whole lot of things. ANTP, um, Tampa was there. They would not say they did not see all these things. They saw it, right? And none of you called any one of them to other. They saw it. They on location because um, he did something that I feel and I know is wrong to a minor. And I came out to say, ah, my colleagues, you guys don't say anything yet, though. I think this man is wrong, you know, don't, I think what your Mifabi wrote, I didn't like it because I felt it was a bit misleading, you know, and allowing some of my colleagues, most especially the junior colleagues, you know, react in a certain way that I felt at the end of the day, if we all now see the same video I saw, we understand that, you know, we shouldn't have attacked people the way they were doing. And I just felt like, you know what? And Yomi felt like just because I condemned his write-up, I stepped on his ego or I subjected him to whatever cyberbullying, you know, he could come at me and whatever. I didn't say anything. Now, this same Yomi Fabi, he said he's doing a movie called Okoyabo Wabi. And a lot of Tampa went on that production acted in a movie that he was trying to mock me with or pull me down with. I don't know what the storyline is all about. A lot of Tampa went there. And so you saying, I don't have a right to vent on the association because it's just some certain few people. Maybe you're right, sir. Maybe I don't have a right to vent that way. But 
I mean, like you said, we all have our reasons why we react and we all react differently, you know. So that's my take on that. I do not have any intentions. I'm not fighting Tampa. I don't have a problem with Tampa. A lot of Tampa members are my friends, you know, and colleagues. I might not belong to the association, but yes, I am a Yoruba actress. You understand? Yes, I do English movies too, but I can relate with everybody even if I do not um, join the association. But I'm telling you where my own um, anger came from. You know, a lot of gossip goes on in that industry. Same people who will come to you and say, oh, thumbs up. The same people will go behind your back and say a lot of things about you. You know, so the Tampa needs to start from the grassroots and address a lot of issues. I'm not the problem, yeah. And I have a right to say or view or air my opinion, you know. But at the same time, I don't know if you people feel I have offended you in any way. I'm sorry. And, um, uh, well, that's it on that part. And, um, Yomi, Fabi, I saw your write up and I really laughed, honestly. Moren and Gonio, I don't understand your write up. Um, you said I used to be nice. So just because I chose and decided to stand with that young girl and princess, I am not nice anymore, Abby. But you, you are nice. You put my name on placa and said, I said, I will keep Baba Jeshai if he comes out. I still need you to provide a footage or video of where I opened my mouth and said I will keep Baba Jeshai. You didn't do me no wrong, Abby. You are so right and so perfect, right? And then you said, I don't know what your write-up was all about, but excuse me, boy, I have peace. I have so much peace that you, uh, you may not even understand. So whatever your write-up and that my picture that you put on your pages, I don't know. Maybe you need more followers. You need more, you know, I don't know what you want. You know, you told me that you're enjoying the publicity I gave you. You're enjoying everything you told me before. So I think you're still boxing on that. You're boxing on that or... You know, is it box in or box correct? So you boy, you know, I think you're still enjoying all the clouting and the chasing, you understand? <laughs> ah. Yo, me Fabi. <laughs> Your mother is for another day. So that's it. And on my besties issue, well, uh oh sorry, my ex besties issue. Mm -hmm. Shit happens. We just learn to forgive and move on, you know. So I'm not going to say much on that. I've decided to be mute on that and to just let her know that whatever it is you've done wrong to me, I forgive you. We might not be friends anymore, you know, but I forgive you. And that's gone. Life goes on. Priscilla is my best friend. Festus is my best friend. And I move on from there. Okay, so what other area have I not touched? So that's it. Yeah, the voice, whatever that was released, well, shit happens. You get angry. You say uh, everything you want to say. Well, I'm an adult. I'm not a baby. And I have a right to have a relationship. I have a right to do whatever I want to do as long as I'm not offending the law or offending anybody in any way or in any form. And what else? Yes, I still stand with that girl. Because Baba Jesha finally was granted bail, it doesn't mean the case has ended. So all of you that you are rejoicing, I want to believe that Nigeria, like the court will never disappoint me. Ah, they will not. Ah, that girl cannot. Ah, it's not possible. She must get justice, you know. And definitely she will get justice. She's going to get justice, you know. So... I don't hate Baba Jesha, but I hate what he did to that girl. And I stand with that girl, and I will continue to stand with that girl as a mother, as a woman. I will stand with her. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what else? What else? What else? That's it. All right. Thank you, guys. Esheu, what do you play? Esheu, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Love you all. Yeah. Bye. Okay.